Layers are like transparent overlays. You use them to place all kinds of scene elements. Objects on the same layer have common properties including wire color, viewport display, render control, and motion blur. You can make an object inherit the properties of the layer on which it was created. To work with layers, first go to the Preferences dialog, which you access from Customize Preferences. In the General tab, two options ensure the objects and lights you create inherit the properties of the layers they were created on. Note that in 3ds Max, these two options are off by default. 3ds Max Design, they're on. Using the custom UI and default switcher also has an impact on layer defaults. The Max settings do not use layers, while the Design Viz settings do. The Layer Toolbar can be toggled on and off with a right click on an empty area of the main toolbar. Layer 0 is there by default and cannot be removed. Creating an object on the layer takes on the properties of that layer. Notice how the wire color of the newly created door matches the color of the current layer. The wire color swatch in the Modify panel displays a black and white color. It's an indication that the wire color of the object is set to by layer. You can override this at any time, forcing a wire color in the object color dialog. However, this is not a recommended practice when using layers. If you try to display the properties of an object by right-clicking on it, its properties are grayed out because they are set to by layer. Layers are used primarily as a visibility tool to hide or freeze objects in a scene. Typically, you should create your layering system before starting working on a project. However, you can create layers at any time as you find need for them. If no objects are selected in the scene, creating a layer as an empty layer that you name and add to the existing list of layers. If you select one or more objects and then create a layer, you can transfer the selected objects to the new layer. You can set a layer as current by selecting it from the Layers Toolbar drop-down menu. You can also add a selection to the current layer. The selected objects become part of that layer and inherit its properties. Keep in mind that in a shaded view, the wire color is active until you apply material to the object. In a wireframe view, an object's wire color is that of the layer it belongs to. You can also easily select all objects that are part of the current layer. That is a quick way to simultaneously manipulate all objects on the same layer. The Layer Manager lets you perform other edits to layer contents, such as move objects from one layer to another, rename layers, and more. It also gives you a fast visual on which objects belong to which layers.
To control properties of objects on a given layer, you adjust the properties of that layer. An example would be to set the wall layers to see-through mode. 